What's up, guys? Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer from the Bro from the Brooklyn Brewery in Brooklyn, New York. This is their Defender IPA. Uh, this beer is brewed in honor of New York City Comic Con, which was held uh, just a couple weekends ago. Um, so this beer was a little bit further back in my rotation, but with that event just happening, I I uh, wanted to get this get this out there instead of re reviewing it in, you know, six weeks from now or whatever it would end up being. Um, timely, so I wanted to do it now. Uh, notes from the brewery, and um, forgive me, I'm going to try to do this in my superhero voice. <clears throat> the Defender is constantly vigilant, standing guard over all those who dare to create, to dream, and to drink great beer. This bright, juicy West Coast-style IPA takes on a reddish twist and features bold, fruity hop bitterness and an intensely resinous nose, leading the way to a dry finish that blazes the trail for your next sip. But who is this mysterious hero? The Defender takes to the skies of Brooklyn, clad in a homemade mech suit to protect us from blandness. She is armed only with bold red malts and explosively juicy hops, yet emerges victorious. Wherever beer drinkers need a hero, the Defender will arise, guarding the rooftops and alleyways in the, in the name of delicious beer. Brooklyn Defender IPA was forged in collaboration with our sidekick, sidekicks at New York City Comic Con as the official beer of the convention. Uh, Multi-used British Pale, Cara Red, Crisp, Roasted Barley, and Melanoidin. Hops, Summit, Cascade, Mosaic, and Amarillo. ABV 6.7%. Alright, let's pour. Incidentally, I should probably use that voice all the time for these videos, right? Okay. Uh, maybe a finger's worth of head. Maybe a finger's worth of head. Uh, hazy. Kind of reddish copper color. Can't really see much in the way of uh, a little bit of carbonation. Hold it up to the light. Good amount of material in there, too. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, really tasty. Really tasty for starters. Uh, plenty of uh, malt backbone to go with uh, the hops. Yeah, a little bit of a different malt, malt profile. So it uses uh, with red malts. So it kind of, kind of has a bit of a, a red ale blend to it. Um, yeah, just not 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 sweet necessarily because sometimes those uh, those reds you're getting some like some caramel maltiness those kinds of things. This is just kind of a nice oak, uh, nice nice malt backbone. Hmm. Hop wise, I call it a uh, probably some piney notes, maybe a hint of dankness, but um, the big thing for me is just the balance. Uh, really great malt top balance. Try to get more of the uh, hops. Just having a little bit of trouble. Uh, just kind of like ro roasted, uh, kind of bready or biscuity, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm having trouble kind of placing it, but bottom line is it really is quite delicious. I can't tell you that much. Uh, yeah, it's my palate's not cooperating today with me, I guess. So uh, I am uh, going to keep drinking. Probably didn't help. I hadn't done a, a review in a few days. I kind of got out of the Oktoberfest push and the 50th video push, and that's kind of slacked off, so that's my bad, but hopefully we'll get back into the beer tastings, and uh, they'll go a little better than this one. Uh, you can find all of our reviews, video written, video and written, along with news, commentary, and a whole lot more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. 
All those links are in the description below. And if you are so inclined, though I don't know why you would be, uh, like this video. And if you are so inclined, please like this, uh, subscribe to this channel. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.